I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. My family has been blessed to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, it is almost harvest time here. Two weeks early, roughly, at least a week early uh, than normal. But uh, we've got a few projects we've got to get done before we start working on machines and headers. We... Uh, we want to get that tanker finished, get that sight glass put in there so we can put water in that and then that's ready for firefighting if we need it. And Colin's getting the air drill ready to unhook from the tractor. We moved that in the yard here a couple weeks ago or a week ago probably now. That needs to be locked up so that the openers won't settle if they want to haul it with a semi, pull the semi or a tractor without the hydraulics hooked up. So he's getting that done. We're going to get that unhooked, get the tractor back in the shed out of the sun. Don't forget, it's still for sale. 70 foot sold, tractor sold, get rid of that here. And uh, we are not adding a new tractor. We're actually going to one drill. It's time for this project. I've ordered some uh, stainless steel fittings. And then got these little, uh, some welding fittings that will go into the tank. So I gotta get the plasma cutter. Cut a couple holes in there, weld these in. That's gonna be tricky. Can't really get in there. Right angle with this thing. I really wish it had TIG welder. Work a lot easier to go around something small like that. This is in my way. But we'll see what we can do. It's not gonna be pretty, but hopefully it holds. Well, I made it halfway around with the spool gun. The rest of it, I'm gonna have to just use the wire feed and use steel wire on and just not have a stainless steel bead, I guess. too tight and twist that well out. <laughs> Wouldn't twist it. <laughs> That's why I got the short wrench. Ready to go. Well, a couple uh, bent chain links on there to hold zip ties. Hold all and zip tied in place. Yeah. Spill water again. No. Yeah. It's funner to watch it come out of the manholes and the garden hose and everything else. You wouldn't think that's fun if it was fertilizer though. No. <laughs> that would not be good. Let's hope we have to top dress next year and we can put fertilizer in this. Well, that tanker project is done. The drill's parked back there. We got the spray truck ready to go, the sprayer. Load it up, tail loader, man basket, spears. We're gonna move some bales so that the sprayer can go and then we need to take off some bin lids so they can get those fixed up because they were not built heavy enough and the wind tore them up and uh, we gotta fix them. Fridays from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Well, I guess we get to uh, short circuit the starter. Doesn't exactly sound like a smooth starter, does it? It would appear that my windshield survived with the uh, flower power comforter. Dump the air and get this thing unloaded.
think I'm at the top of the world. Another one done. Going down. Well, that looks like a good time. I uh, with Blunder to go load up a bale that I broke when I was picking bales. So I'm gonna load it up, bring it back for the cows. Well, I'd say that's a full load of hay. I'm gonna be driving slow. Well, grabbed a stack of uh, filters and grease and chain lube for the combines and that's all we're gonna do to them because they are gonna get their butts kicked by rocks this year. No use sticking any extra money into it. Grab my uh, header and head to the farm. Lights are working, tires are good. Made it home and uh, that's got the combines in the yard. Looking over those, I'm gonna go get the other uh, header. What? I said that's quite the uniform you got on there. <laughs> oh, you were. I'll put this dog poop shovels on you. You were string trimming, huh? String trimming. And you then do, all the other things. Looks nice. Thanks. You do good work. I need some uh, two for D all over this. Yeah, you might not have any flowers left. I know. Just keep mowing the weeds down. Well, that works. Okay, see you later. Adios, amigo. I think that's Spanish. We've got the combines out doing some maintenance. Got, uh, got them out of the shed and last when we got the combines we noticed they're used and that belt right there was in pretty bad shape. Made it through the season last year we've got new belts to put on there. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the next few minutes. So the belt I just put on is this main, one of the main belts that runs the chopper is this is the tensioner on it. And they've got kind of a nice way to tension them. They got a spring and you tighten up the bolt until the washer lines up with the little tab. And I tighten that one a little bit tighter because that belt will probably stretch just a little bit being a new belt. Well, I got this other header uh, out. The lights hooked up, better check those. Do I need brakes? Just to make sure. There we go, lights are on. There's my header. Amazing when this thing's been inside all winter. It's not all rusty like the one sitting in, the, in town all winter. Sheds do pay for themselves over time, that's for sure. All right, here looks good. Close doors and get out of here. Don't think we'll be using the grain bagger this year. Nope. Good morning. Um, I'm gonna go put the seed treater away finally. Go put it in the shed where the combines were and. in the shop in the morning. How ironic is that? That's not a door, bud. Gotta go the other way.
doing? There you go. Well, it looks like combines are coming along pretty well. Dad just got done changing oil in his machine. Uh, put a new chopper belt on. We got pretty cracked up ones we tore off. So that's gonna be uh, better. I'd hate to plug up a machine because the chopper belt stops turning. This chain needs changing too. So a uh, load chain, not like we're gonna use that a lot this year, but we'll get that changed. We'll get headers put on. I know dad's machine, or dad's header is gonna need a couple uh, fingers put in, replacing in the center drum that never broke. We put the poly fingers in my header. So we've got the takeout ones, factory ones, we'll put in replacing dad's. So these fingers on here are, they call them a retractable finger. I think they call this thing like an RDI drum, which I don't know what that means, but that's just what it's called in the book. But as it goes forward, the fingers will go out and grab the grain, pull them underneath, and when it comes around here, they'll suck back in so that it will drop the grain so the feeder house can pull it in. The way that works is there's halfway or further forward, there is a shaft that these pivot on and that makes them run in and out different location than these than the main drum itself so really it's not any magic like the daughters on a baler but uh yeah that's how that works so hopefully they just broke off and it didn't break the plastic that they're going through on the inside so we'll pop these open put new ones in we'll put new used ones in So there you go, you can see that shaft is further forward in there. And that's what we gotta do. So here's a broken one. Oh yeah. Pull this clip out. Pull out the broken piece. Stick another one back in. See if I can even do it one-handed here. go well these are uh why well, you want to run poly ones because this from here on down went through a combine and the poly ones won't do damage like a steel one so that's why i put those on the other header we'll let daddy up this combine with steel one for now <laughs> eric from may west is here and uh, we're gonna do some installs on poly skid plates and the five fingers for the reel and kind of show why we need those five fingers this year and probably why you need them too because you guys drove here from minnesota and not really a great looking crop anywhere is there a lot of a lot of short crop this year now you had mentioned that normally your stem is going to be about two and a half to three feet tall yeah we're going to cut like two feet off the ground two feet off can. the ground obviously this year with the short canola you can see how low the pods are going to be on the if we leave 10 inches of stubble or eight inches of stubble well, that's going to be pushing it probably going to be pushing it so you're you're going to be cutting quite a bit lower than what you normally do and with that five finger um for example especially short crop if you take your finger you're not pulling much in across that cutter bar yep with the five finger it's basically going to grab that whole plant and ensure more of those pods get across that cutter bar it's going to result in uh, more profit at the end of the year yeah and we're not doing this for charity we're not doing this for charity <laughs> no so and it's rel relatively uh, uh inexpensive to put the five fingers out for the reel with yeah Con i mean compared to an air reel an or any, right. any other options out there right so well should we go put them on let's go put them on so we got the fingers here and we already put a few on kind of trying to figure out our pattern and whatnot but uh there's some nice red gloves you got there come look yeah, they match a combine. Match the combine. A lot, sweet. a lot better than that pair that other guy gave you. Other guy? Those green ones you got from that golfer, Zach Johnson. That guy. You mean that millennia, the millennia, uh, the Minneapolis Moline turned green guy. 
Yeah, there you go. That other guy. Yeah, yeah. that other guy. That guy. That guy. You did burn those green gloves, right? They burnt. They burnt. Yeah. We had fun over 4th of July with them. <laughs> there you go. Two more? One, two, three more? Three more. Three more, and this header's done. This is Eric's side of the reel, I did the other side. Tony, it's not the first time. <laughs> that, happened, that happened with that green guy, too. Yeah. He, you mean he overworked you? Or outworked you? <laughs> we, won't, we won't go there. I thought the millennials are supposed to be the lazy ones. No, see, they're always working with that John Deere stuff. Oh yeah, they're just used to working hard. They're used to working harder. You yeah. know, the red guys. That's my ca slim. my calluses are kind of gone. I haven't been working the shop at all. You might want to get green. Yeah, I don't know. Been there before. <laughs> well, poly fingers are all done. The five fingers are on. I gotta work on some skid shoes because uh, this one's packing a rock in there. And and probably a little little height to the head on that side. So one the other side Eric already replaced and that one was kind of wore through. Not, not too bad though. Not, you could almost see through it, but it wasn't there yet, so. Just about. And these ones from you guys are thicker. They're gonna be thicker than OEM. And cheaper. And cheaper. So why not? Why wouldn't you use them? Absolutely. Pretty soon we'll call this a uh, May West header, not a MacDon header, huh? I like the rhyme. <laughs> I'm gonna go put the baler in the shed and get the green card out. Now well, the baler's put away for until we bale hemp. And the green card hooked up. I'll bring it back to the farm and grease it up. Well, we're back today. I had to go wash the sweat off from yesterday's heat. Yesterday was a bit hot. Yeah. No wind. No right. wind. Wind's kind of hard on crops, but right. good, better for us. Right. <laughs> but I think the header is pretty much may west converted huh pretty close pretty close you have your new skid shoes yep left and right skid shoe you have your new center skids it's all fitted with our five fingers and last our may west poly retractable fingers and those are the ones we put on last winter should last a long time with all these thicker poly pieces and get more crop in the tank with the fingers on the reel, five you're, fingers, so. You're gonna get more, uh, put more crop in that grain tank with those five fingers, especially this year with the short crop. Yeah, you know, and uh, you gotta see some of the short and shorter crops in the area. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's uh, gonna be a challenging harvest. It's so. gonna be very challenging harvest. So and he, already since what we shared yesterday on Instagram, we've already got a few sales locally, so. Yes, and uh, that's, that's the fun part about it. So, yeah, hopefully you guys get in touch with these guys or your local dealers and get fingers and whatever you're gonna need for this harvest because it's pretty big area that's pretty short. Pretty big, uh, large area, big what, region. What's uh, inventory like right now? We have very good inventory on those. Get a hold of us, check out your local Maywest dealer, go to our website, maywest.com, or give us a call, 1-800-788-6483. Thanks again for coming out. Absolutely. Well, a little cooler in the shop and outside right now, so we're gonna work on Fixing up these uh, grain bin lids. They're a remote one, you can pull on a cable from the ground to open. But what happened is the wind storm came and these weren't built heavy enough and they folded up and cracked them all out like, like those ones. There's the other tops over there in the vise. And uh, so we're getting that welded back up. We're gonna run a brace from up here down to the bottom down there. Give it a lot more strength. So 
we'll get those cut out, bend them on the press to give them a little bit of an angle break on there to make it rigid and we'll be in good shape. Best Marilyn Monroe impression. <laughs> the only way I can get by. <laughs> His best what impression? Marilyn Monroe. Oh, 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 what? <laughs> oh, I thought he was gonna be leg arms. <laughs> well, yeah, or leg arms impression. Jeez. I think I got a little way to go. Oh, yeah. Still. Well, the lids are all done. Those are ready to go back over in the morning. Do that when it's a little cooler outside, so you're on top of a galvanized bin with the heat coming out of the top. Well, calling on top of the bin. But uh, we're gonna put the sprayer in. Dad's finishing up oil change on the uh, last combine, and then we're getting really close to moving machines over to the field that we'll cut first. So thanks for watching. Don't forget, farm hard, pray harder.